Now, we're going to present about the metal casting alloy. So what is dental casting alloy? Dental casting alloy is widely used in dentistry field recently. How is dental alloy being classified? Generally, it's being classified based on the noble metal content, which are the noble metal, semi-noble metal, and base metal. This classification is based on the gold content and other metal content. So how about the properties of casting alloy? Dental casting alloy is generally biocompatible, easy to melt, cast and solder. It has a good wear resistance and high strength. What about the advantages and disadvantages of the dental casting alloy? These advantages and disadvantages are basically based on each type of dental alloy. For normal metal, it is perfectly corrosion resistant and well tolerated by soft tissue. But it is in high loading bearing area, it is subjected to distortion. For semi normal alloy, it has good clinical performance and low cost, but for the disadvantages, it had lower ductility and poorer corrosion resistance. For base metal casting alloy, it has higher modulus of elasticity and higher melting range, but it has high casting shrinkage. So what are dental casting alloy being used for? It is being used for crown, bridges, onlay, inlay, Framework for removable dental processes and post and core. What is a crown? Crown is a prosthetic device to entirely cover or cap a damaged tooth. Bridges is a fixed prosthetic device to replace one or more missing teeth. It is sometimes made of semi noble metal. So, what is an onlay? An onlay is an indirect restoration that incorporates replacement for a tooth cast by covering the area where the missing cast is. And what is inlay? Inlay is an indirect restoration that fitted into a cavity in the tooth. For the framework of removal dental prosthesis, normally base metal is used, which require higher strength such as the nickel chromium or cobalt chromium. Post and core is a type of dental restoration that is used either to stabilize the weakened tooth or provide an end core to the crown. So these cast indications of dental casting alloy are different based on types of metal. Most textbooks will differ, refer to the noble and semi-noble metal. These are the references we use during the presentations. So thank you for watching. Did you know that crown and bridges has been used since 2,500 years ago? It was first used by the Istricians who live in Western Italy. Crowns and bridges fell out of use until the Middle Age, where it became gradually rediscovered. The gold shell crown was first described by Pierre Moton, based in 9, 1746 in France. In 1885, the Logan crown was patented, which uses porcelain fused to a platinum to replace the unsatisfactory wooden post. In 1907, the detached crown was introduced, which is more adjustable. Composition of Gaitel alloy is stainless steel, which consists of iron, carbon, and other metals. However, stainless steel alone cannot prevent corrosion, so a thin layer of chromium oxide is placed on the surface of stainless steel by using electrolysis process to give an extra boost on the protection. But still, it is best to avoid corros corrosive environments such as seawater to prevent the corrosion from happening because um, the seawater can actually remove the chromium oxide from the stainless steel surface.
exposing the iron to attack. Corrosion resistant properties. So why is it corrosion resistant? So it undergoes slow oxidation at oral environments and has high melting point. However, despite its advantage, it will cause allergies for certain people. There are some signs and symptoms of the needle allergy, such as stomatitis, perioral rashes, loss of taste and metallic taste, numbness soreness and at the side of the palm, angular chalitis and severe gingivitis. Ini metal yang lepas kita buang dia punya oxide lah. This the this is the casting machine. Casting machine. This is the furnace machine. Furnace machine. And the three cylinders is a new metal. Oh, okay. This is the recycle metal. Pre glow. What is this? Pre glow. You 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 send from here. Oh, oh I see. What was that? Okay. This one is uh, time for casting lah. Okay. After pre-glow the the metal, uh -huh. nanti kita akan metal tu dalam ni akan akan burn and then dia akan melting and then baru kita cast dia. Dalam itu investment. Okay. okay. How long should we wait? Uh, normally it's half minute. Okay, because uh, so many metals, so we can maybe do around two minutes. Okay. Okay, wax pattern. So wax pattern, kita akan kita akan invest dia macam ni. So kita that mean dalam ni is uh, kita punya wax. Penas ni for for burn out the the wax. And then they are jadi just like a mold, right? Okay. Investment ni akan control the metal, fire the metal tak akan spread ke, dia tak akan chip, dia akan pecah. So the metal is in there. Yes. 